Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. For requests, please submit those to Tinkernut.com. Today I'm going to show you a project where you can take an old computer and turn it into a DVR and also be able to access it and record shows from anywhere. So the first thing that you'll need is the hardware, which will be an old computer and a, a TV card. If you can, try to make sure it's a brand name TV card because those are more compatible with different software. You also want to make sure your computer supports the TV card, make, and that means you want to make sure your computer has a place where you can put the TV card and that it, it will fit. For instance, mine's a PCI slot, so uh, I, before I bought the TV card, I made sure that my computer had an extra PCI slot in there. Basically, you just want to uh, clear out the open spot and securely install the TV card into the computer. And you want to make sure that it's in there all the way, and you can tell if it's in there all the way because all the gold teeth uh, will be covered up by the PCI card slot. And then you want to securely fasten it into the computer. And once you've got that done, you can then replace the cover and start plugging things back in again. And now whenever you look at the back of the computer, you'll see the TV card and you'll see a place where you can plug in your, uh, your TV cable. And that's how you're going to be able to get the channels. Alright, the second thing we want to do is install the drivers. So whenever you turn the computer back on, it should prompt you to install drivers automatically. So just put in the CD that came with the TV card and that should have the drivers on it. If not, please refer to the instruction manual that came with the TV card. Third thing you want to do is install DVR soft. Most TV cards will come with this already. If not, what you can do is do a, a Google search for Media Portal and then go to their website and, uh, and download it. And Media Portal, for the most part, is, is a free version of Windows Media Center. Um, if you have Windows Media Center, of course, that will work as well. But after you download it, just go ahead and install it and using the defaults uh, during the installation program is, is fine. Um, but after it's installed, you want to start up the uh, um, configuration for it and then select Television and Capture Cards, click Add to add a capture card and it should have yours listed by default. You can also choose where you want to save the recordings. Uh, that you're going to record. And um, you can check other settings as well, like uh, auto tune to automatically scan for the stations, and, uh, and you can select your country and tell whether it's antenna or cable. Mine, of course, is cable. And then you can just click scan and it's going to uh, check all the available stations. And then you can just do uh, uh, all the other different options according to your taste but these are the basic ones and once you have that done with go, you can go ahead and start media portal and it should be ready to go there of course are many many other settings that you can tweak to your preference um, but this not only plays television but as you can see it also plays music DVDs you got weather you can access the internet and uh, and different things like that so there, there's a lot of stuff to play around with but uh, for this project the main function is of course a TV function and you can just mess around with the record now or uh, you can schedule a recording um, the fourth step uh, I want to show you this is kind of an extra is a way that you can record programs um, and access your TV from the internet. This is going to require a free piece of software called Orb, found at orb.com. So you can go to their website, click on the free download link, and then select your country, and then click save file, and, uh, and let it download. And once it's through downloading, you can just install it. It's a, a pretty simple setup. Um, just follow the installation procedure and uh, click next and select the options that, that are best for you. If you don't have an account, you can create one or just log in if you already have one. 
and then it's going to check your system settings automatically and detect whether you have a TV card or not. And you can also set it up to work with your Xbox or PS3 um, if you want to do that. And then you can set up your TV tuner card after that. But then whenever that's through, you can go ahead and close out of there. And you'll see a new link in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And uh, if you double click on that, it will take you to the Orb website, which you can access from anywhere. As long as your computer is on and as long as Orb is running, you can access this from anywhere, including cell phones. So in theory, you can also watch TV on your cell phone. Um, but basically, you can select uh, your station or your channel, whatever show you want, and click Record Now to start recording it. And it's going to start saving it to your computer whatever computer you have Orb installed on. And then you can also stop it from the web. I have tested this out with my Windows Media cell phone, I mean Windows mobile cell phone, and I can record shows from my cell phone as well. Well, that's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.